Hey guys, welcome back to the video. On today's video, it's Halloween, we're thinking that. And we've just driven 400 miles to see West Brom, Exela Argyle. Listen, Dan, minus one on the clock. Cold today. Yeah, I didn't get. We didn't get. I didn't get to sleep until four o'clock. And I was five ish. Oh man, now we're back up again. But you know what? At least we can be counted on to do our bit as supporters of exactly. thousands of others. What a turnout! It was a really, really good day, man. What While the journey was really long, I really enjoyed the day out. So for some reason, I've got this figure of eight in my mind, right? Um, how many shirts did Albion give out at the end of the game? At least eight. Eight players. Mm -hmm. When we were in the Premiership, the highest we finished was eight. And when we were at Ipswich, how many extra time minutes were there? Oh, there six or eight. I think it was eight. But anyway, listen, it's freezing. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a real tough one today. I'm so proud of the lads to get where we are. Exactly. I've got to be honest with you, Dan. It's going to be difficult today. I'm saying 2 one all. Really? Yeah, I yeah don't it's, want it's it to 56. Be. So listen, after last night's results, Cov oh. get absolutely battered. I didn't see any of them results going. Potentially the leads, but you know what? As long as we can stay with that chasing pack, you know, we'll, yeah, we'll be fine. Definitely. I think after the player performances, I don't know, I don't know why. I was a bit nervous towards that game. But yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. seeing the win that we came across on on Tuesday night, I'm gonna go for a two-one win today to the boys. And I'll tell you what, we didn't escape a bullet. At Plymouth, we escaped a bomb. They bloody detonated it yesterday, <laughs> didn't they? But listen, Dan, all I ask for is that the lads show up, give everything they've got. Definitely. Santi, what's happening? Hamstring injury, it looks like. That's a real rough one for us, but a lot of people, it looks like, don't mind not being the star. Anyway, so lad, listen, because of your piss drinking, we're late, so we better get a move on, mate. What time is it? It's your time! Right, well, as always, it's an away day, so that means we our favourite American restaurant. What are you thinking? Yep, we're here at the famous American restaurant, the Goblin Arch, as we like to call it. Listen, I've been thinking, you know, for the first time in a long time, the togetherness at the club appears to be outstanding. Like, you know, I thought it was, sorry, I thought it was touching that eight players gave the shirts into the crowd. And you could just see it, and Carlos has bought into it as well. And it's a spirit that we could really nurture. Yeah, we a massive shout out to Josh. Yeah, big JJ, yeah. He had a good day, didn't he? Had a really good day. And I think that the Plymouth fans were really, really friendly to us. Yeah, we yeah, had a great game. Really, really I mean, all right, admittedly, it was what, 400 mile round journey. My back was killing me, still killing me now, but we're up. But you know, still going. I love the Albion. I'm absolutely Albion nuts, just like you and Faz. You were in Sales from the Irish today, weren't you? Yeah, we're going to do it. I'm going to do some bit of a bit of research for a change. So we don't just muddle this channel together, do we? Want to drink and piss all day? No, honestly, I've got some really good, interesting stuff for you. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to put a on that one, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for that one. Go on, Dad, what are you saying? It's just imperative we get some kind of result today because all that hard work would have been for nothing. Exactly. But you know, Summer, we're such topsy turvy, aren't we? Well, a lovely frosty morning here at HQ, isn't it? What time did you get out of your bed this morning? Six. What time? You're going to say it weren't worth going a bit, was it? So my name's Paul. Your name's Sir. Emre. Lovely to meet you, Emre. Nice to Lovely to meet you, Cody. Jaden. So listen, it's getting tight at the top, isn't it? So give me, give me a prediction from the heart and then the head. But I'll lead the way. My, my, my head says two one hall. My heart says three one out. So what are you going for? My heart says 9-0 Albion. <laughs> <laughs> but my head says I think it might be a little 1-1 one, one or 2-2 two, two today, mate. You know what? I'd have the point with you. I'd have the point. How about you, my mate? Oh, I'm saying my scrape the 2-1. I'd have that, you know, I'd have that. I'd have that, yeah. And then you, my mate? Oh, I'm doing 1-1 one, one as well, I think. Uh, I'm hoping it's a 2-0 win on well, I think it'll be 1-1. One, one. Price, price. Price. Looking very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's having a quick. Oh, it is actually very hospitable. It's nice point as well. Happy days. Happy days. Well, we're here at the home of football, which is it the MKM Stadium. Yeah, MKM Stadium. My name's Paul, and your name's Sir. 
Venom. Listen, how long have you been supporting the Tigers for? Since you were six. So give me your score prediction for today, please. Yeah. Two new baggies. Yeah. Two new baggies. Oh no, two new. Two new <laughs> we'll come on. We'll come on to the uh, the elder states along with ourselves. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. What's your name? Stephen. Stephen, so how long have you been supporting the Mighty Tigers? What time is it now? Um, yeah, about ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Now, is that, is that your first or your third? Yeah. Anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> so, how do you, the time that you've been supporting the Tigers? Who's your favourite manager? If I may ask. Favourite manager, probably. Well, well I'm most successful. What was probably Bruce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what's your verdict on Bruce? Yeah, he's got a good build. Yeah. How about his son Alex? Yeah, good way. Steady. Oh, that's weird. Now, Steady. Tell you what, then, what's your famous memory then, if I may ask? Can I just add? Can I just add without you? Yeah, you're on, please do. His brother played for the city. He also, how many games did he play, Steve? Oh, I'm in. I used to call him Pete Skipper. Pete Skipper? Well, yeah. we'll have a look at him. Uh, so right, we're in royalty then, Bob. Yeah, yeah. I've had that. Ah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. You've yeah. kept that quiet, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, yeah. Without being rude. I think he played about 420 league games for City. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good on you. Who else did that? Well, so, sorry. Played for Walsh. Darlington. And well put that. Well done. Well done. Yeah. 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 There's something like that not stated in the wrong <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to as well. Prediction for today then, my mate. Still no to the Tigers. No, I've, 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 I've said 2-1 to you, to be honest. Yeah. Do you think it's too early or do you think you'll make the playoffs? Well, well, if we carry on the way we're going, we'll be there, won't we? Yeah. What's what's saying, what's 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 saying, saying, right? yeah. I reckon Lee, uh, Liam was the brains behind the Derby stuff with Wayne Rooney, and he's carried it on fantastic and well here. And he, I think he's done a really good job. He seems to me, might be wrong, but he's galvanised everybody together in the local community. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and the new owners are backed in as well, haven't they? So go on then, I, I know you want to have your point in the chat. So what's your prediction for today, my mate? Well, quite like we did on the Tuesday night, 3 or 4 nil. That's what worries me. <laughs> You're on a good roll, ain't you? Yeah. I do agree with that. And then we get the lap back for the playoffs. And should walk it, it, It's the conviction he's saying that that worries me. If I'm going, oh, I truly am thinking we're going to be on the wrong end. How about you, sir? 2-0. So, no. no. Can I do, just also add, this guy here has played 11 times for Wolf City. Really? Dave Kinman. Well, <laughs> well, they do. Well, well, we do, we do. <laughs> What's your prediction, sir? You see, it's, to me, it's very difficult for the fact that it's a tough game. Whoever gets that win, it makes a massive difference. We're at home. I mean, obviously, I think we're going to win. But, tough scary, scary. We're not, we're, right, we're here at the lovely, the new Walton Club, just minutes before kickoff. We bagged ourselves a top score predictor, aren't you? Uh, so, what are you thinking about today, my mate? Well, the lineup looks pretty good, but I think it'll be 2 1 Albion. 2 1 Albion? I'll, I'll go for that. Do you think the uh, automatic promotion's on? Nah, I don't, not not really. No, I'll be happy with playoffs. All right, I'll go for playoffs, that. Yeah. All right, we'll have a quick round up. So, score prediction: uh, two 0 Mikey Johnson Browns. I'll have that score prediction. One nil Albion. Yeah. Lads, come on! I know you're two one. Two Who are we then, lads? We are Albion. Say we are Albion. It's been to the new warm up, and they just say, "What on earth is walk through the stadium?" It's like the bloody Walker fan, eh? I tell you what. Well, minutes before kickoff, we're at the home of football, which is the MKM Stadium, if I'm correct, and we bagged ourselves some glorious Tigers. So, my name's Paul, your name's Sir? Colin. Colin, lovely to meet you. And your name's Sir? Martin. Martin, lovely to meet you. So, how long would you say you've been Tiger fans for? Well, in my case, since birth, my father was a season ticket holder at Hull City. Wow. Uh, and I have now reached the tender age of 60, so... Hey, uh, you don't look a minute over 38. I don't, I don't feel it. <laughs> and you, young man? Uh, 1960s when I first started spotted Hull City. Wow, that's a, some achievement. So I'll tell you what, out of all that time, what would, you, would be your standout moment? Because there has been some good moments mm. and there has been some good cups. When they had the whole, the old league table, when they were in the second division, when they had the likes of uh, Ken Wagstaff, Butler on the wing, uh, and a number of other celebrities, 
that's when they were they had the glory. They used to play at a different ground then. Is that Boothbury Park? Boothbury Park. That's right. That's right. I think that's to go on the train. Yeah, 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 on the train. Remember, remember. I think I think the maximum. Oh, well, I think the biggest set ground attendance was what fifty six thousand. Yeah, like that. wow. that's right. Yeah. You know, we could only get twenty four thousand in there, so. That is incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. So, a standout moment for you, sir? I think the goal at Wembley that... Is that Mr. Windus or? Dean Windus. Mr. Windus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. How oh, he had the composure to do that in never but yeah, that's an iconic moment for me, if I'm going to be oh, honest yeah. with you. It was so, during, during the time then, favourite manager, if I may ask? Well, Brownie got us up, didn't he? Yeah. But I don't know if he was ever our favourite. He had that embarrassing moment. Was oh, it against... yeah, I always remember <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It, well, well, you know, sort of, you know, sort of, whatever he does, I know that he's, he, he manages one of our local teams. I think he's, he's kidding me, Sir Harry's. And whatever he does, I'll always remember that. Or if it's not that, it's singing at one of the last games of the yeah. season as well. Yeah. I think, I think, I think that was the blot on his landscape, and that stopped his career. Didn't I think it? you're but, probably so. right there. You know, joking about yeah. you're right there. So, who would you say, sir, favourite manager? Uh, well, I think I think when we when when we actually got the promotion into the Premier League, I would have thought. Is that Bruce? Yeah, I think it was. I think yeah. it was. Steve you know, Bruce, yeah, I think Bruce, it was. Wasn't it? You went on to he, win. He, the he was the it? most, you know, the, 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 the most famous manager that we had. And, 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 he, and he and he held the club together. I think I think people had a lot of respect for him. Yeah, and certainly the fans. Did. <laughs> Bit of the uh, chairman, <laughs> that had a, bit of, that had a <laughs> bit of a fall. Was it oh, yeah. chairman's son or something? That had a bit of a fall in out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, listen, we'll put all that, that aside. So, you ready? Now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way, and please mm. state from the heart, what's your score prediction for today, please? I think you're going to beat us 2 1. I don't like the sound of that because I'll tell you why in a minute. I think I agree. I think West Brom's always a bit of a dodgy team as far we as beat we're West Brom away. And uh, yeah. you know we've done well, and then you've pulled it back. Yeah, but you know what worries me? Historically, when we were doing these, whenever the the away from our point of view, whenever the away people say that you're gonna you're gonna get beaten, you don't. So I think that's now done for me. That you're gonna the thing is, we seem to be struggling at home at the moment. They're getting nervous in front of a, a home crowd, and I suspect <laughs> there's going to be a reasonable crowd there. Be a full house, isn't it? Yeah. So what's well, your prediction? Think. Sorry. Um, two one. Red line. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Come on. Yes. Here he is. No message this time. Oh. can make him on the how long it takes. Come on, come on. Here we are, baby. Here he is. Well, this is the third or fourth time I've been. Looks good. Good morning as well, though.
Say what you're thinking, my mate. Fulham being a bit dominant, but I reckon we could get some back in second half. I bet you, buddy. It's been even, to be fair. But I think we should be winning. But I reckon we'll, I reckon we'll come out in second half. The yeah, keeper looks a little bit suspect. Shot stuff, but he's great. Distribution is not so yeah. good. Full sign, what are you thinking, buddy? 3-1 Albion. 3-1 Albion. I'm good. 2-1 Albion. Oh, yeah, that's what I've said at the beginning. 3-1 Albion. Here at home of football, which oh, is the MKM shots off. Now, 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 don't get too carried away, it's not full time. So, listen, 1 1, half 1 1. What are you thinking? I mean, 
we've not been at our best, but we've been all right. Not so continue into the second half. We'll be fine. To get another goal, early goal, we'll be fine. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm going for that. We'll save you till last because you're the best. But go on, sweetheart. I'm happy with the score at the minute. I am as yeah. well. Hey, listen, what time is it? To beat the whole time. Whoa. Half time here at the MKM. Now look, we've got an old, uh, in fact, we've got our regulars with us. We'll do the glamour first, Jack, I'm afraid. <laughs> what are you thinking, sweetheart? Another goal. Yeah, you think we're going <laughs> to scoop, scoop a victory? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. We have to mind the language for the kids. But Jack. Sorry. Um, Voice for reason, Jack. Look a bit dodgy, but we're away from home. I mean, it's half time, it's 1 1. I reckon, to be honest, before the game, I said. Before the game, I reckon I said it would be 1 1. I'll be happy to take I'll this away now. I'll you? take a yeah. point all the way I'll, back. I'll take that. 100%. Here at half time at the, uh, at the MKM, West Brom 1, Hall 1. Jack, what are you thinking, mate? Um, I, I took a point before the game, 100%. 100%. 100% I took a point after the commentary's result last night. I definitely took a point. And uh, after we went one behind to go 1 1 after the break, I'm absolutely. I'm, I'm not delightful with that. I'm just worried that are we going to be able to hang on to it? I, I, I think it's a pretty open game, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's even Stevens, really. really it's it? even Stevens. Um, I just really hope that we can get. Three points, if not, a we'll point take or a do. point, 100%. Because we're still in that chasing pack 100%. then, aren't we? If we do the second half like we did at Plymouth, he ain't coming out of Buffalo until tomorrow. <laughs> hey, listen, Jack, what time is it? It's it show is time. time! But it wouldn't be the same without our old muck. How are you doing, kid? All good, mate. So listen, sum up first half for me, can you? Um, Even Stevens, always. Uh, I thought we were, we were a bit better, but we just did better chances away. Do you think we'll do second half? Uh, 3 1. Yeah. Excuse me, officer. What time is it? Showtime. Good man. <laughs> right, guys, quick one from me. I can't lie to you. Really good game so far, guys. There's a lot more goals in this game, especially. Well, it's like, you know, the turnout from the lads and lasses is fantastic. It's really, well. really good. I'm pleased with them, you know. I think we can sneak this. If you've got to either way, in my opinion, hopefully we can do it. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Up the end, so we We're blue and white, the walls are shot. We're up until we die. Came from sunny Spain. So play at our foot saying, yeah. Whoa, yeah, whoa. He came from Sony Spain. Super, yeah, first leg. Oh, no. Good shot. Oh. Yeah, he's one for Jens done. Look what he says on the back of that. Dick is hard. <laughs> Volume starts increased. Two con, no cross. Good save. Oh! Well, in Wallace. He's just the two row. Three finger dead. I think Wallace had enough chances, really, Dan. The old golden black. Wait there. Oh, you may not do the mountain. Wait there. Your mountain. Wait there. Your mountain. Wait there. Come on, you baggage. Oh. Pizzas, Air Pizzas, Air Pizzas, Air Pizzas, Say that was. coming off our theme, man. What a fantastic shift he's put in. He's offside. Say that you mean me, always be mine. 
of what I thought was a brilliant game of football to be honest with you I do think we had enough chances to have won that what do you think yeah. yeah. I'm should have been two I, I agree I tell you what I'm happy with the point now yeah. we're still in that chasing pack aren't we yeah. what do you think about automatic promotion no no that's what I thought well full timing at Hull City all one West Brom one I'm happy with that point yeah. I'm, I'm happy with the fact that we had the chances we didn't convert but Josh what are you thinking mate I think we could we could have played better we didn't play as well as we could have, and we and um, we hit the bar two times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. mind you, and they, they hit the bar as well. We should they? have scored them two goals. At I the top agree with that. Yeah. You know, yeah. We had the chances. Had we put them away, it'd be a different story. But you know, yeah. Summer, I'm happy. We've had two yeah. on the road. Yeah. We've got four points out of possible yeah. six. I'm happy with that. Yeah. yeah. What time is it? It's showtime. Show now listen, it's the end of the game. I'd like to make a special mention to these two, Soph and Jack, channel regulars. I saw you at Plymouth, and it was a long, long journey. We all had to get up early this morning. I'm happy with the draw. So, what are you thinking? Well, all match we've been a bit wobbly, but the last couple of minutes we've been all over, and I can't. I don't know why we ended up. I agree with that. I was just saying earlier that had we we had the chances, had we put them away, Jack, I think we'd have been up, we'd have been three points over nose. What are you thinking, mate? Well, I think a draw's a draw at the end of the day, but it's a tough place to come here. That's it. Point. And they're a good side. They're no pushover, so we'll live to fight another day. Right then, guys, it's full time here for once it's a sunny day, mate. I just say. <laughs> But it's 1-1. However, in my opinion, you take the points. Fair play to Wolf, but they were eight today. I thought we bought a bit of quality of the game. Could have nicked at the end, but you take the point, don't you? You know, Summer, all in all, it's been a good, a good morning. We've had a good journey down, good day of weather, a good game of football, even Stevens. On any other given day, we might have lost it, but on yeah. any given day, we should have won that with the chances. But you know what? I'm delighted with the four points out of the two away games. And you know what? Onwards and upwards for Coventry, Dan. Definitely. It's like, it's like someone said to me, you take the four points from the two away games, my opinion, especially with our poor away record. Yeah, it could have been a different story and with no recognised striker. Exactly. And, and an informed team as well. Rossini's got these lot working yeah. really it's well. It's great fans coming on Channel Yeah, well. fantastic yeah. day. Fantastic fans. Love the Albin. Love you. All that's left is... It's your time!